So what are the most helpful tricks that you've learned, apart from eliminating subplots? Read, really read what you, what you write. Read it by yourself to your friends, you know. You will see they are bored, and if they are sincere, they will tell you, oh, it's bad, you know. This is one, I think, that is, for me, the most important thing I have discovered, you see. So who are some of the people that have influenced you? Well, first, my wife, you know, Françoise, because she's the first I'm reading my, my things to, and she's suffering a lot because she's in another room, you know, and I call her Françoise. Quoi? <laughs> <laughs> because when you change one word in a line, you want to, s to experiment it, you know? <coughs> I say, come here, I would like to read you something again. Yes, please come, and she's coming and coming. And once I said, Françoise, Quoi? I said, come, I would like to read you something. And I was hearing, pst, 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 pst. I said, she said, I'm busy. I said, what are you doing? Something important, you know, pst, pst, like that. So I tiptoed, you know, to her room, and she was trying to take off hair from a brush. You know, the come. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, this is important, you know. And we, she didn't divorce, so it's wonderful, you know. She's still, <laughs> she's still here. But are there writers that have influenced you, or filmmakers, at all? I don't that see. You admire? Uh, uh, for sure. Well, there are writers that I admire, you know. But you can't imitate Billy Wilder or, P or Capra or uh, Preston Sturges, you know. You, you know, I had lunch with Billy Wilder. Because he remade La Merde, it was a very bad movie called Buddy Buddy with Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau, you know, mm -hmm. it was my film. And he invited me for lunch. And he brought me in a croissanterie, we had two croissants like that with the coffee, it was lunch, you know, it was so weird. <laughs> and uh, we started talking and it was very, very interesting, you know, can you imagine this genius? And he knew my little movie, so we were talking and talking and I was fascinated. And there was an old lady sitting next table. She got up and she came to our table and said, I'm listening to you since half an hour. It was very interesting. Thank you. And she went away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and this is very nice, very American, the good, the good part of America. But he's so funny. He was so funny, you know. Yeah, he did, he, by, by the way, he did a speech at the Writers Guild. And he started the, the speech saying, aging is terrible, you know. I have a friend who is 94 years old now. And he went to the doctor and said, doctor, I have problems to pee. And the doctor said, you peed enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was there at that. <laughs> that that's a very he was a great guy. He was well. a, oh, he was a but great guy. But he didn't want to change anything in his screenplay because I was very, I was very, I didn't think he would give me his first draft, his draft. It was a final draft. And he called me and he said, I just finished my screenplay with Diamond. Can you imagine? Diamond, Sunset Boulevard, and... And all that, you know, some like it hot, you know. Uh, and he sent me the screenplay. And I wrote it, I, I read it, and it was very bad. And it is very difficult to call your legend, your hero, Billy Wilder, and to tell him, Billy, your screenplay is bad, you know. So I didn't know how to, to do that. So I called him, and I said, uh, okay, Billy, I read the screenplay. So what? <laughs> and I said... <laughs> And I said, uh, maybe page, page 26, you know, there is a little... No! <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, Billy, so good luck. And uh, it was the last time we talked together, you know. Because oh. he died just after my movie. But I have an alibi. I didn't do anything. <laughs> 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 I should have. So... Bravo. Are you a writer? Right. Okay, you will succeed. <laughs> so, I if, you, if you could give... The young writers in the audience, one piece of advice, apart from the, the bit you've given about reading out aloud, what, what would it be? Uh, don't uh, Try not to be too good because I don't want any competition. No, I don't. Um, <laughs> what I could say to them is that it is a very difficult job, and especially if you're writing comedies. Because comedy is something so mysterious, you know. You never know if you are funny. You never know. It's only when the audience starts laughing that you say, well, I succeeded, you know. So drama seems to be easier. I have written three or four serious movies, you know. It was vacations for me. So if you are writing comedy, believe me, it will be a tough way, but it was such a rewarding way to hear people laughing, you know. So what I could say to them is good luck.